I would like to point out for the record that I didn't realize until halfway through filming this that my nails match my eyeliner. In other news, people are cutting their lawns outside. I love the smell of cut grass. Does anyone else enjoy that? It just feels like summer. Like summer's like right there. Like you can, you can almost touch it. So I'm in a great mood. Felt like playing around with some makeup, so let's do this. Hello everyone, I'm here to do a new get ready with me using all drugstore products that I have been absolutely in love with lately. I just thought it was really bright and fun and very summery and springy and just an easy way to wear a bright color, <laughs> at least a little bit easier than putting it all over the lid. And also as an aside, I am so excited. I'm going to be at Gen Beauty Toronto this coming weekend on the Saturday afternoon. Um, I'm going to be at the Physicians Formula booth in case you guys are interested and want to come and hang out and take pictures and be in my Snapchats and have lots of fun together um, and play around some makeup. If you guys are interested in going, you can type in Rach Loves into the coupon code and get 50% off tickets, which is awesome. I really hope I get to see a whole bunch of you there. And without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. It's a little bit weird when you only see one eyeball done. I'm gonna start with the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer, and this is just going to um, cover up any veins on my eyelids. Next up, I'm gonna be taking the CoverGirl True Naked Nudes Palette, which is one of my favorites right now. I keep going back to this because I'm obsessed with it, as you've seen for the last like two months. So I'm going to take this matte neutral shade <laughs> that is almost the shade of my skin and I'm going to apply it all over the lid. Then I'm going to take this matte sort of a taupey brown color and I'm going to be applying that to the crease and I'm going to use the same brush because why not? And I like to apply the color just a little bit above the crease. For me personally and my eye shape, I just find that it sort of opens up my eye a little bit more and makes me look more awake because I could always use a little bit of that. The fact that these are as pigmented and blendable as they are, it always, every single time, always they always impress me. I just, I can't believe the price that you pay for this compared to like, say like the Urban Decay uh, naked palette, you know? Next up is an eyeshadow palette that I think I talked about in March. It was a, a drugstore haul and then <laughs> said update. And I talked about how much I love this palette. And I actually did an eye makeup look using a turquoise. You guys are like, what eyeshadow is that? And it's this. This is the uh, Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips and this is the Extreme Shimmer Custom Eye Enhancing eyeshadow and liner in bronze nude. There's a lot of words there. And I thought of instead of doing the entire lid, which isn't exactly super wearable for every day if you're the average bear, um, I thought instead I would do a nice bright liner. A little bit more wearable, a little bit easier to do, and really, really fun still. I'm gonna take my angled brush and I'm going to dampen it, and this is just going to really make the color pop. It's gonna make it easier to create that winged liner, and it's just going to overall just enhance the color of the product. Like, look at that. Look how pigmented that is though. Oh, so beautiful. So now I'm going to create the wing. I'm just going to line it up with my lower lashes. That's usually how to get them. That's how I end up getting them even. We'll see, we'll see though. I'm just going to fill in the little triangle I made here. Now if you want, you could do the cat eye, you could do not cat eye, or if you just wanted like a hint of color, you could even just apply this to the waterline. So once you are happy with the shape of your liner, you wanna go in with a black liner and I'm gonna be applying it to the tight line and this is just gonna add some volume to the lashes and just make them look fuller and more awesome. And who doesn't want awesome lashes? So this is the CoverGirl True Naked Waterproof Eyeliner Duo this one right here. I really like this one because it is fairly waterproof and it doesn't smudge or, you know, shift off of the tight line and I don't end up with raccoon eyes because that isn't attractive. And I'm going to be focusing on really pushing that into the lashes, less about lining the actual tight line and more just lining in between the individual lashes to make them look fuller. And that's also going to help the uh, eyeliner from not transferring to the lower waterline. All right, so now I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to be applying some falsies, which I rarely do, but I felt like for this look, it just, I don't know, it just enhanced the overall look of the eyeliner, which I really wanted. Um, so, so we're gonna suck it up and we're gonna make this happen. So the lashes I'm gonna be applying, these are the Ardell Demi Wispies, and they are just probably the most natural looking false lashes that I've ever tried that I really like. And most false lashes look terrible on me. I'm going to apply a dot to the back of my hand here and I'm going to run the lashes through that glue and I find that's the only way that I can make putting on lashes actually work for me. All right, so now that I have the lashes on and the lawnmower across the street is making a ton of noise, apparently the people thought that one o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon is the best time to mow your lawn. So now I'm going to be applying mascara. This mascara is the Essence I Love Extreme Volume Mascara in Waterproof. 
Holy moly, this scuff is crazy. If you don't want to go the whole false lashes route, this is also a really, really great mascara. So I'm just going to touch up my mascara and add a little bit to the bottom lashes as well. And that's just going to make this a lot more voluminous. Next up, we're going to go on to the brows. And this brow product I've been obsessed with lately. It is so nice. One of the nicest brow products that I've used from the drugstore. And that is the Maybelline Brow Drama Pro Palette. And this is in soft brown. Um, and I really, really like it. it. Even the highlight shade is quite good. I thought it wasn't going to be as pigmented as it actually ended up being, which I was quite surprised with. So first, I'm going to start with the colored wax. And this is just going to um, fill in my brows really, really lightly and also sort of put the hairs in the place that I want them to be. And then I'm going to go in with the powder and I'm going to start um, underneath the, the, the bottom part of the brow and start filling them in. I love when you're in the process of doing your brows and you just realize that like the other one isn't as good as the one you just did and you have to go back and touch it up. It's like I already have to do this for winged liner. I don't want to have to do this for my brows too. All right, now that our eyes are all done, let's zoom out and we will do the face makeup. This is the only product of everything that I have not tried before and I was just kind of curious. So I figured we'd kind of, we'd test it out together. This is the NYX CC Cream Color Correcting. It contains antioxidants and skin conditioning ingredients and this is supposed to brighten up the skin. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend this in with my primer and this is the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth and I've been uh, this is resurfaced in my collection and something that I really really like it's just a really good lightweight primer that's just gonna smooth everything out and create a really nice base. We're gonna be makeup scientists today. What do you guys think? Does, does my skin look brighter now? I can't really tell if it did anything I'm sure editing Rachel has an opinion as she normally does. It's a very nice smelling product, so that at least is a plus for this. And now I'm going to go in with my foundation, and this is the Physicians Formula Super BB Insta Ready Foundation. It has an SPF of 30 in it. It's going to minimize the look of pores. It's going to balance out your um, skin texture, so it's going to uh, soak up any of the oils on your skin, but not the moisture, which is really nice. So as I, as I drop it all over the place. Story of my life. And it just blends out really nicely into this nice semi-matte finish and it looks, oh, it just looks so nice. Now for the under eyes, I'm gonna use the Essence Say No to Dark Circles. This is in bright rose or rose with an accent. Fancy. And this is a color correcting stick and this is just going to brighten under the eyes. I talked about this in a five first impressions video that I did uh, two weeks ago. Um, so I am going to be applying that because I need it. I'm also going to put this in the corner of my eye as well because I find that area tends to get very dark and it drags my eye down. But if I apply it up in a nice swooping motion, it's just going to lighten and brighten that whole area and create this nice little lift to the eyes. Now I'm going to pat this in with my finger, but you can use a brush if you want, or you can use a sponge, like a beauty blender or something. Now for concealer, I'm going to go back in with the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. I just find it to be a really nice, smooth concealer. It blends out beautifully on the skin. It's a really good color choice as well. I'm also going to apply it around my nose and down on the uh, chin area as well to just sort of brighten up any uh, darkness. I'm pretty sure I have some spots. Bloop, bloop. And now to blend, 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 blend. So now I'm going to go in with powder and this is a new one that I picked up in the last two weeks that I am in love with. This stuff is awesome. It is the Bourjois Bourjois Paris Silk Edition Compact Powder, um, and this is supposed to be as soft as silk with a cream texture, but it dries to a nice powder. Right now, I'm just going to set everything and make sure everything is nice and matte, especially in the T-zone area. I also want to make sure under the eyes is nice and set as well so that none of the mascara transfers in this heat. Okay, now we're going to go into bronzer, and this is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and this stuff smells fantastic. It smells like it smells like coconuts and like summer and vacation. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It is not matte, but it's not glittery either. It just gives a really natural shimmer to the skin. It looks really pretty. I love it. So I'm going to be applying that all over. Blending it down into the neck as well. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of a contour, just a really slight one underneath the cheekbones. And I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Contour um, in light medium and ignore, ignore the highlight because I destroyed it in my uh, DIY video that I did last week for the rainbow highlights. So 
yeah. The contour is really nice because it's nice and buildable and it's not too jarring against my really pale skin. And the blush is really nice too, so I'm gonna be using it as well. And I'm gonna be applying that to the apples of the cheek and sort of blending outwards to the temples. For highlight today, I'm gonna be using the Flower Beauty Highlight Chubby, and this is in Pearl Shimmer, which I brought out of my uh, collection and I have been in love with lately if you want just a more natural looking highlight. And I'm just applying it to the tops of the cheekbones and up and along the outside of the brow, along the temples there, and blending out. And then lastly for the lips, I'm going to be using the Burt's Bees Tinted Balm, and this is in Pink Blossom, which is something that has been a staple of mine for the last couple of weeks now, and just a really pretty pink shade, and it's also very hydrating for the lips. All right, now, now I'm gonna go wash my hands and take my hair out of this ratty ponytail. And that's everything for this video. I hope you guys like this sort of a tealy cat eye look. I really, really love it. I love this color. I think this is a really fun look for spring and summer. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far. I hope to see a whole bunch of you on Saturday at Gen Duty Toronto, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.